you know, we're trying to build off what we did last year. I think we surprised a lot of people at the conference meet last year. I, I don't think we surprised ourselves. Um, we had a game plan. We, you know, laid stuff out and we had our goals set and we actually met all of our goals, which was a great thing. This year, not to say we have a target on our back, but people kind of know what we're going to do. And, you know, our goals are set pretty high and we're, we're going to try to accomplish those goals again and, and guess what, maybe surprise some people again. Who knows? I, I think we, we're looking to win several events this year. Um, we're looking to win both medley relays. Uh, we're looking to get some B cuts for, for nationals and maybe even send a relay or two to nationals. I mean, on the girls' side, that's a legitimate goal. Um, top three would be great overall, although that will be a struggle. Um, but but that's, again, that's one of our goals, to get top three in the conference and try to get multiple B cuts uh, and win a relay or two. Uh, on the guy side, we have a smaller squad so and very inexperienced, so my, my senior Zach, he, you know, he's going to lead the way and, and we're, we're looking for him to, to get top three in, in two events and, and possibly even win an event, so, which will be the first time we've ever done that on the men's side. I, we teach them how to um, swim properly, swim the right way, how to take a race out, how to break out past a flag, you know, streamline, small little details that when you become an elite swimmer, you know, you need to, to drop time, you need to do things better than other people and, and that's what we're trying to do, teach them how to swim better than other kids. Um, I think that the main key to our success is hard work. Um, I ask a lot of our kids, I really do. I get it, I understand it, I still ask it. So they're going to work harder this year than they did last year, which might scare them. Um, but if they want to see the success that they've had in the past, that's, that's exactly what we're going to have to do. It's, it's, I always say it's not rocket science. Um, it's literally hard work, dedication, um, and holding your kids accountable for what they do and how they do it. And if we can do that, then I think, again, we're, we're going to set ourselves up for a, a phenomenal February.